Welcome back, everybody. We are live with some more of the Beast Inside. We started the game last night. I uh, had an absolute blast with it. And uh, so, yeah, we're about five chapters in. There's 13 in the game. Went ahead and looked that up yet last night. Uh, so we're just under a third of the, or just over a third of the way there. Um, so far, the scary bits are really, really good. And then the, the backstory seems to be pretty solid as well. So I'm really excited to see uh, what comes of this game, what, how the story continues. Basically, for those of you that missed it, uh, we're, you're, you play two different characters. One is in the 1800s, um, in the same house that my character in the, 19, in the late 1970s, he and his wife have uh, bought the house and they're finding things around the house and, and you're, you're kind of going back and forth between the two time periods. Uh, to just get a full, complete story. And it's pretty cool. Uh, my character in the 1970s is a uh, spy kind of character. He deciphers different codes and uh, basically the Russians he thinks are coming after him. I mean, it, it's pretty in-depth story there. And then in the past, uh, just some really weird shit happened in, in this house. And I think, like I said last night... I'm enjoying the uh, the past the 1800s part more than the current 70s portion of this game, um, mainly because I love horror and that's the only real scary parts of the game. Uh, this game has some good puzzles too in it, so um, definitely enjoying it so far. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know, I've had a pretty good good day today. I found out that a position that I'm very much interested in. Uh, for a promotion is in fact going to be filled in the next month and a half or so and uh, so hopefully we'll be getting that that would mean that I'd be moving uh, which is kind of scary but um, something that I'm looking forward to um, and uh, we'll see how it goes um, it'll be an interesting new chapter in my life anyways so but anyways enough of that uh, let's get back into the game uh, the beast inside and uh, see what else this game has in store for us. Let me make sure I got the sound going. I do. All right. Where did we? Oh, I left off in the middle of a chapter because it was kind of time for my old self to go to bed. Uh, we were chasing a guy that we saw in this treehouse. And we think that he is spying on me and my wife in the 1970s. Um, and we're kind of chasing after him, trying to see uh, what, what he's all up to. And uh, hopefully we can we can capture this man and get some answers. I, I have a feeling we're not going to. We just went through a pyrite mine um, trying to find this guy. I don't know how successful that's going to be, but we shall see. I'm probably going to end up breaking my leg, and my wife's probably going to be nagging at me again. Like, that That's just basically how the game's gone so far. Uh, she nags at me. I go do what she wants. And, um, therefore I don't have to sleep on the couch at night. So win, win all around really. Uh, but we are here in the middle of the woods. I don't know if I came from that way or if I came from this way. Uh, so I'm going to go this way. That's how I was staring to begin the level. Oh yeah. I do remember this tent. What do have here? Yeah. An old tent. Some abandoned stuff. Looks like someone just left it all and never came back. Hmm. I do remember this, and it didn't seem like there was anything I could do with this tent. I couldn't, like, go inside it or anything like that. I'm curious if we can... Looks like there's just a mat up in there. That looks to be about it. All right. We're trying to go to this inn where, in the past, I saw how haunted the inn was as well. So that's kind of where we're going. Might be able to machete through this. I could go through here. I have a feeling this is a side path that I'm not supposed to go in. You're watching ESPN waiting for the college football ranking show at, at 9? Yeah, I couldn't be arsed. Wait a minute, where? So, wait. Oh, that's the only way that I couldn't. No, I could go up here, couldn't I? I wonder which way they wanted me to go. Do I really have two... Different paths that I could go on? 
It looks like I do. And now, now I'm kind of curious. I feel like the path they don't want me to go on. Dude, there's two two ways I can go here too. Oh snap! Uh, I'm gonna go across this maybe. Oh, this might be a bad idea. Um, I don't think we're jumping across that. Do we even try it? I don't think we try it. I don't think we try it. But let's try going the up path up here. Maybe there's something up here that we can do. How long is this? Poor guy been hanging here. Oh! Strange that no one came looking for him. He must have fallen off that poor guy. The backpack is hanging loosely. I think oh! Can knock it off with a stone. Oh, okay, here we go. I think this is like extra stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. Oh, I only have a certain amount of stones, too. Let's aim high and, and hope we get lucky. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this, am I? Dude. Kobe! Oh. Dude, I really want to know what happens if I hit this guy. Oh, man. oh, it refills. Well, that's nice. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit the guy. <laughs> I was trying to hit the guy. I'm supposed to hit the backpack. Yo, Stale. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Llama. It's been a while, but I've always had fun watching the stream. Thanks, man. Can't wait to keep seeing some more of this. White Liao Yu. White Liao Yu to you as well. 24 months. That's two years, Stale. I appreciate that, buddy. All the continued support. Hope you're doing awesome. Uh, we are back regularly again. This is now two whole days in a row. And they said I couldn't be consistent. I'm now a consistent streamer again. Why is your sub broke? Oh, no. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to refill. Climbing rope, very sturdy. This should come, this in, handy. come in handy. I think I was actually supposed to do all that stuff. Interesting. Okay, so we found some rope. I bet we're supposed to do all of this. And that wasn't actually any kind of side thing that I could do. This game doesn't have very... And it, this is not a uh, critique of the game, but there's not a lot of side stuff to do in the game. Um, I probably would have had to just go back at some point to get the rope. The gate's closed. I need to find another way. Yeah, I probably would have had to use the rope to climb some wall. Or something. So yeah, the plan this week is to stream, uh, obviously we streamed yesterday, we're streaming today. Uh, my plan is definitely to stream Wednesday and Thursday. Um, possibly Friday, though I can't commit to that, but definitely like Sunday afternoon. So probably every day, but Friday and Saturday and that mine shaft looks Friday is definitely a possibility. Yeah, see, there, there's the rope. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. All right. We're going down, boys. We're going into the mine shaft. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. I think I just broke my legs. Where in the world am I? Wait, how in the hell do I get out of this? Oh, no. Am I stuck up in here? Oh, no, never mind. We're in another mine shaft. Am I just trying to climb out? Oh. Oh, I gotta make a jump for it. Yeah! Oh, that didn't work. There we go. 
Search the ruins of the inn. Oh, that's the inn that I was in in the 1880s, uh, where my character, like, that's where we had a boss battle. What could have happened here? I don't know. Let's find out. What the hell is he up to? Who are you? Sir? Sir, I need you to come down from there. Sir. How do I get in this place? Oh, here we go. Oh, is this some kind of maze? This is amazing. <laughs> oh, I saw that guy walking over there. Where did he, he go? Did he have something up here Who though? Is he? What did he hide here? I need to turn that safe around somehow if I want to reach it. I can't move it with my bare hands. Why do you have bare hands? <clears throat> you can move that though. Soviets want all this country to look like that. Do they, though? What is that? A broken lamp. Could it be the reason for the fire that turned the place to ashes? To think that something so small could cause so much damage, it gives me the creeps. That might be the lamp that my character in the 1800s had. Careful. Whoa. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, over here. Wait a minute. If I go down this way, isn't that where I just came from? It is. So, why? Why do they want me to go there? Wait a minute. Can I like open it while I'm up here? No. Okay, so where am I supposed to be going? Hold up. Oh, I got it all maxed out. Okay. Um. Maybe this way? College basketball goes too long? I actually dig college basketball. I, I'm um I'm a pretty big fan. I, I will agree that it goes on a, a good bit, but it's actually a shorter game than the NBA. College basketball, you're over in about two hours. NBA is pr about two and a half, three, somewhere in there. Um, I'm honestly not really sure where I need to go. Search the ruins of the inn. See, like, it feels like I'm supposed to go up here, but then I go up here. And this just leads back down. So where do they want me to go? I am very, very confused right now. Um, oh, there we go. A metal rod. It could be used as a lever. Perhaps it could even lift something as heavy as a... Okay. So now we can go over here. We can lift the safe. Cool. What if the safe falls on my head and kills me? Oh no! Oh fuck! Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. What is this place anyway? 
What's in this box? So far, anyway. How do I open it? Maybe I can find something in this room. Okay, so I gotta... F from the other side. Wait a minute, let's, let's use the only code that makes sense right now. One, two, three, four. That wasn't it. I, I really thought we were on to something there. What is a page from the Bible doing here? It's probably one, two, two, three, by the way. Uh, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be made known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the rooftops. Uh, that old witch presumes she can scare us with the word of God? Where was her God all this time? What was he doing when those people were dying in the darkness? That old witch had the locals fallen into superstition. I can only hope they didn't burn her at the stake. I bet you it's 1223. If I had to, if I had to guess, it's going to be 1223. One, two. So I was pretty close, actually. Oh, you can actually just go backwards. Two, three. Is that really not it? Wow. Okay, I really thought that that was going to be the code. I love how strong my character apparently is. Wait a minute. So wait, that just leads me right back out here. Wait, oh no, this is all something different, isn't it? It looks like someone noted the combination to the lock here. Which numbers do I need though? Remember, the answer is not present. What? What? Oh my god. Yo, Asdos. What's up, buddy? Thank you for that host. I turn you on. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it all along. I could sense it even when, especially when we were sleeping in the same bed. Oh yeah, I knew it. How, how am I supposed to figure out the password to this? How the hell am I supposed to make anything out of it? What? Oh, yeah, this is a puzzle. What? You think what you put is the code? Why, why would you think that's what it is? Remember, the answer is not present. What am I looking at? The answer is not present. And then... What? Now, you looked it up on Google. Well, I want to know why the answer is this. That, like, I don't want. I don't want just the answer. I want to know why an answer is an answer. Numbers from the notebook. Which ones stand out? Which ones stand out? They all look the exact same. How am I supposed to know this? Hold up. Do you guys see like any numbers that stand out? I mean, honestly, like it's all it's all the same text. It's all the same color. You can't say the ones that are faded because there's several faded uh numbers in there. What in the hell underlined? Is there an underlined number? There's creases in the book but i don't see any underlines i 
I mean, there's no like single number that's underlined. That's the thing. Um, I don't understand. I mean, that's all white. But that's because that flips into that. Oh, God. I, I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. Um, hmm. So let's see, seven, six, seven, one, four, seven. There's a lot of sevens on this page for the second number. There's a lot of zeros. Let's see. Some of them will make up the cipher. You think you know? It bugs me that you know. Wait a minute. Dude, this puzzle makes no sense. Can I do something with this? No. What do you think what do you think is the reasoning for this? I'm curious what Asdos's thought is on what could be the reasoning for this puzzle. There's no five on page one, for example. Oh. There isn't a five on page one. Wait, so I got to go through all the numbers? Oh, okay. So I think you may be right. I think you actually may be right. So there's no five on that. Yeah, I've, and I think Rusty's number is correct, by the way. Seven, five. Yeah, I think, it, I think that's exactly what it is. So, like, you... So there's no sixes on that page, and there's no ones on that page. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I just got out puzzled by Asdos, so I probably should kill myself right now. It's it. There's no point in me even trying anymore. I'm gonna go hang myself now. Uh. <laughs> Seven. Five, one, six. There, finally. Now, what do we got up in here? This can be our secret, just like the lewd boxing gloves. Good, because nobody needs to ever hear about that one. Tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for. Oh, time to go back to the night to the eighteen eighties. How you're supposed to know five? Because the picture of the lock showed uh, the arrow. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for those damn kids. Oh, wait. If it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask, he killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing <coughs> fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Whoa! Detective. You mean that? You never show a lady your dagger type. Nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of Save God. that for someone you I love. Got the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices, there's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people, the janitor usually kept their 
reception keys. In the room, it's him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Never yeah, now, now it gets illusions. scary again. All bleeding into one. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walt Wait, what does that Walt. say? He is peacefully fine. He is perfectly fine to be out of your mind. It is perfectly fine to be out of your mind. Just never something it. Just never lose it. Uh, biscuits are watching you. Like the Popeyes biscuits? Because I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with that, however. Let's see, find the janitor's room. Didn't they say two, oh, 207, okay. So now we're in a haunted mansion. Are you, no, because it's in Alabama, which is like 10 hours away, and I'm not paying $300 to go drive to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. If it was in Baton Rouge, I would totally be going. It's stuck for good. Yeah, right about that. It, it's like eight to ten hours. Um, I just got an achievement called Moth for lighting a bunch of things. Nah, it takes a pre it's a pretty good drive. Oh, here we go. This is this is the lock picking mechanism that Skyrim should have had. lump of pyrite from my father's mind. Some call it fool's gold, but it has brought considerable wealth to the Hyde and Whitehead families. I don't need that. It's all locked. You have no idea why they switched it? I think because they used it in Fallout and they're just like, hey, why not? So I know I'm supposed to be going upstairs, but I just kind of want to investigate and see how much I can find. Oh, there was a dude that walked over there. There was a dude that was over there. I like how subtle some things are in this game. There's something over by room 112, it looks like. Dude, where's my car? What's up, Sixer? I, I gotta say, man, I, I really like this game. I gotta say, man, I really hate this game. This is the worst game ever. Trying to scare me and stuff like that. Was it left here by one of the guests? Luke eight seventeen. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. I know somebody came over this way. There he is. Probably should follow that guy. Not really in the mood, though.
Hello? I'm just lighting all of these on fire. I'm gonna set this place ablaze eventually. Wait, can I move this somewhere? Oh, hey. Got some more kerosene. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I think I'm stuck up in here, guys. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're going up the stairs and following the creepy man. Oh, the almighty frame drop. Something must be happening. God, who is this? What is he doing here? Some more candles over this way. Oh, I already was in here, wasn't I? Hey! Whoa! What was that? What was that? I don't know what that was, but I didn't like it. Excuse you! Come out with your hands up. I don't know which door is 207. Oh, that's 208. That is... That is the room we were looking for, everybody. Damn, there's a chain. <laughs> so sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Yeah, but there's a dead body in there! Oh, son of a bitch, that door open. Okay, I'm going in. Oh. I think I gotta go underneath into the fireplace. No! It's the lady from Resident Evil 7. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Hello? Please don't hurt me. I mean you no harm. What if the game gets scarier the more candles you light? Give me my matches. All right. Uh, nobody's home. Nobody's here. Oh, somebody's gonna be behind there. Nope. Okay. I think I gotta walk up this. Oh, we made it into the bedroom. Uh, Opal, magazine for psychiatric patients. A magazine created for the patients of a psychi psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig's will and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay, and the ones that do are never really free men again. It should be considered great luck to ever get out of such an institution. Oh, no. What the hell is this? Looks like a slaughter. Good God. Wrong here. I better 
Get me out of here. I just want to go. I don't want to be in this room any longer than I need to. I really thought I was going to turn and that thing was going to like jump up at me. Here. Here's a stuffed animal. Oh, it's covered in blood now. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could peek. Hello? It would be really cool. I never see this in video games, by the way. Where there's a cross and then it turns upside down. I wish more video games would do this. Um, also, I was in a haunted house here in uh, Louisiana. And they had a room where it was like all nuns and they were supposed to be like dead and, or demon possessed. And... I, I I loved the haunted house, but I had one problem, and it was that they all had, like, upward-facing crosses. And I was like, how cool would it be, like, if they had, like, automatic spinning crosses that would, like, go upside down as soon as you walk in? And then I realized I really want to, like, I want to design my own haunted house one day because I have some really good ideas, like, well beyond just that. Like, things that would make people just, like, leave the haunted house probably, like, two or three rooms in. Hello? Poor soul. Oh, there's a dead dude up in here, by the way. Death, he still begins janitor. Yeah, he's definitely gonna jump up at us. And the guests... From what I can see... Yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if these ghosts don't leave me alone. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My God. I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. Alright. Can be used to access room 106 in the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Well, it's okay. So wing B and 106. Excuse you! Rude. Alright, wing B and room one. Seriously, you ghosts have got to stop with that. Just leave me alone, man. Do I have to climb in here? I thought that was footsteps, by the way. Oh, I gotta go out this way, okay. All right, I'm thinking I gotta go downstairs. Oh, here we go. And I got wing A's key. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Did I completely lose my mind? Jeez, man. Do not open. You don't have to ask me twice. I am totally good listening to that advice, but I have a feeling we're going to have to go up in there. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. Oh, great. I have a key to the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. 
I really don't want to do that. But you know, I think we're going to go in here. So good luck us. A N G E R You know this this probably is a really bad idea. I mean there's a reason this thing was shackled, right? Nothing in there, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant at all. Somebody died up in here, too. Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he is dead now, but who might have killed him? John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I've slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. I'm not going to read that next part. I must have got lost in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I'm making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yo, Crimson! Thank you for those 27 months. Be How are you doing? Yeah, that's what we're rebranding to, the White Unicorn Show. What's up, Crimson? Thank you for those 27 months, buddy. I appreciate it. We've now had three Twitch babies. Uh, you know what that means. Yes, God is on our side, brother. He, too, wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James Wilkes Booth. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. And it's all getting more and more mysterious. Spoiler alert, he did end up killing Lincoln. Oh, I could cut those, I bet. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. Oh, I see what I gotta do. What? No, the guy's gone. I couldn't just get up and walk away. Ah! Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you hate you. Bastard. You can't stop the assassination! Lincoln must pay for his lies! <laughs> Damn it! I died. I'm terrible at quick time events. You also added that Twitch Prime gift? Yeah, I don't know what that what the gift box really does, but I saw it on my dashboard the other day, and so like I opened it up to where you guys can do that Twitch Prime gift stuff. Can't deal with it with my bare hands, I'm not. I couldn't just get up and walk away. <coughs> uh, let me go. Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you hate bastard. Ew, why'd he fart? Thanks for those hundred bits, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I should have some. I, I haven't gone through those sounds very much. I should have some sounds like that are scary sounds too. 
pair of shears with rusty blades. Here we go. Like I said, I get 80% of the bits for those sound alerts that are played on stream. And uh, so thank you for, uh, for contributing to the stream as well. All right, cut that thing down. Here we go. So yeah, the next horror game that we're gonna be playing is called Moons of Madness, which is supposed to be pretty good as well. Another one that I don't really know much about, but I've, he I've heard good things about it. Uh oh, we're going to the third floor. I didn't even know there was a third floor. Search George's office. Okay. I can do that. Who is George? Is that really how to pick a lock? You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. All right, then. Sure looks like it, son. I love how half this game is just finding uh, candles to light. A newspaper clipping shaped in the state of Florida. Ah! Oh. Wednesday, September 13th, 1854. Blackstone Monday, September the 2nd. The sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. Well, hell, $500. Sign me up. A letter concerning the disappearance. Judging by the description, Henry seems like a typical melancholic, but I wouldn't jump to conclusions and say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts, and certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. Hang on, let me refill the kerosene right quick. You never know when you're going to need that. I wish I could pick that up and carry it around. I'm guessing George's office is over this way, though. Okay, maybe not. Where in the world am I supposed to be going? Um, no, this is George's office, so somewhere in here is a key. Oregon number seven, Oklahoma number nine. I agree with Florida still being in the top ten. Kinda. All th that top ten tells me that if LSU, like, if we lose a close one to Alabama, all we got to do is win out and we'll be in the playoffs. Because we would definitely jump over Georgia when Alabama beats Georgia in the sec championship and we would absolutely be in over oregon as a one loss team so turns out alabama lsu may not be that important of a game this weekend 
As long as we don't look like dopes. And even if we did, shit, we have three top ten victory. Alright, what do I gotta do? Search George's office. What am I searching for, exactly? Maybe something in one of these drawers. There we go. Used to access the reception in rooms 107 and 208. Let's go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Oh, hello. Nope. Bye-bye. I don't know where to go. I'm just running. You bastard. <laughs> Thank you for those hundred bits and making me shit myself. I appreciate that. Bastard. <laughs> Are those diamonds? They must have cost a fortune. And that Jacob, who was he? Uh, was it my father or one of the guests? If it was my father, that would make Madeline his... I don't want to picture that. Ugh. You bought that bit bundle back when Amazon did that bit, bit sale? Oh, yeah? Well, I appreciate it, man. I mean, it basically comes down to who wins in that game. I mean, it like... Like, essentially, Ohio State-Penn State is a playoff game. LSU's two? That's bullshit. I know you're an Ohio State fan. There is no way that they should be ranked ahead of LSU. There is zero logic behind that. That's actually pretty damn terrible, honestly. Let's see. Let's let's put a team that's like had the t one, the toughest schedule of anybody in the top ten, won all those games, and put them number two. actually really bad um oh we, we just gotta go over here I gotta jump off this thing where am I going uh, search the reception area. I was able to find the reception keys. Now I just need to find the detective's room. Okay, I think I... I don't know what just happened. I just know that I played the gong. They're basically saying the Texas win isn't as great. Even without that win, we have a better schedule and better wins. So they can say all they want, but I mean, facts are the facts, <laughs> you know. Which room did the detective stay in? Has Ohio State beaten number ten Florida and number eleven Auburn? I don't think they have. Just saying. It's it's they're proving themselves to be quite clueless, but that's cool. I mean, initial rankings don't even really mean that much anyway. The detective was staying in room 203. That's upstairs. 203. He never checked out. There should be a spare key somewhere. Ah, there's bricks. Okay. Oh, there's the spare key. 202. Jesus. I don't know that I, I can't hear a damn thing right now. Quickly, I need to hide. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, is this gonna turn into an Outlast game all of a sudden? Uh oh. From 202, I can easily get to the next room. I need to know how much he has found out. Oh boy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, uh, Rusty, you can try to justify Ohio State as number one, but there's not solid logic behind it. There's just not. <laughs> like, you either say the schedule is important or you don't. I mean, like, that's the bottom line. And uh, I guess the to the committee, schedule doesn't really mean shit. Quality wins clearly don't mean shit. They just want to see points. That's all they want to see. I mean, that's literally what they say by that. We want to see points. Which is kind of funny because uh, LSU has like a top two offense in the country. But, you know, whatever. That's all right. We'll, we'll just win on the field. I don't really know where I'm going here. There's 201 there. So I think I need to go into 201. And then I probably, you know what? I really want to close this door right now. Again, it's easy to it's easy to have great stats against lesser opponents. It's pretty damn easy. However, when you play the schedule that we've had, and we still put up those kind of numbers that we had, that is more impressive. No matter how you look at it. I mean, I get, I get that you're a fan, but I mean, like, play somebody. Okay, I don't know where to go. And I'm not saying Ohio State isn't damn good and one of the top four teams in the country. They clearly are. But they don't deserve number one over LSU. Not at all. And I would bet that pretty much 90% of people would agree. Um, let's see here. I don't know where I need to go. Uh, search room 203. Walter Gilman room 203. Key should be somewhere around here, but it's not. I need to find a way to get into that room. So maybe I'm not supposed to be in here after all. Did you guys see that juke? <laughs> did you guys see the juke that I did on that guy? Holy cow, I jumped on the thing and jumped over his ass. What? Did you guys see the juke? I got moves for days, man. Now, he's probably about to kill me, but I'm very proud of that move that I just did. I don't even know where I am and where I'm supposed to be going. Holy cow, that was wonderful. Is he still in here? Oh, shit, I think he's still in here. Oh, hey. Ha 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 ha! Sucker. I don't know how I survived all that. That's fantastic.
Wow. Gilman, open the door. We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. <coughs> I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! Yeah! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing because you're just desperately looking for a story <coughs> that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Mm. I hope the detective left something here. Yeah, he left matchbooks. What do we got here? Uh, the detective's first note. During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts, ever since the explosion at the mine. He began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would confirm his suspicions. The to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There oh. may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but gunpowder barrels, missing people. What's happened here? My father was a cruel man. I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the uh, why is there a glowing red light right there? Great. It's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. What was locked? Oh god, I'm gonna have to go into the glowing red light. Oh, that doesn't look... Oh, that doesn't look good at all. This can't be real. What the hell is going on here? No in the door. I must have lost my mind. Do do up not in. Okay. Do op not in. All right, I'm gonna go in here then. Is it? Is it only in my head? This game is so cool. The music of this game really makes this even better. Really spot on soundtrack. I think I'm going mad. Oh, no! Ah! 
Run! Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go! Ah! Oh! Oh, he's still coming. He's still coming. Big Chungus. Oh, no. I'm still gonna run. Oh, I think. Oh, no. He came. He's out of here. Oh, my God. Where did he come? Where did he come from? Okay, so clearly don't run into big fat man with axe and saw. That is what we have learned today, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that's solid. I think that's solid life advice. I mean, if somebody's running at you with like a saw and an axe, you might want to get away. I mean, it, it, that's probably not where you want to go with your life. Just saying. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have to run. Whoa. Whoa. This is so much fun. I love this. Uh oh. That's not good. Run. Well, son of a gun. Wait, am I not dead? Oh, I'm definitely dead. Yo, Mono, what's up? I'm at work and everyone's left for the day. You know what that means? Time to blow off work and long hours for watching Twitch. That is what I got fired from my last job for. Good luck, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to run away from men with saws and, uh, and axes. You know, what I really don't like about this set, like, I love this section. But I feel like some of the sections are guess where the guy is not. I have to run. Well, that was shitty hitboxing. Nothing better than getting chased and killed by Chewbacca. What's up, Swagger? <laughs> Chewbacca shaved and became like 50 pounds overweight, but you know. That's what happens when Han Solo died. It's okay. It's two movies old. I have to run. Uh, we're we're in the past. We are most definitely in the past. No way. There's no way I'm about to die. Get up. I think I won. Either that or I shattered my legs. One or the other. Chapter 7. However impossible it may sound, Nicholas's journal helped me to crack the Soviet ciphers. But my joy turned out to be short-lived. In an unexpected turn of events, I had to track down a spy and try to find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn where I stumbled across another collection of Hyde's thrilling memoirs. Okay, so now we're back in present day. What the fuck is going on? Where am I? How all of a sudden... <coughs> 
did, did someone knock me out when I was at the ruins? But why would they drag me here? Keep the mine, keep the house, and move to the crib. To I, exactly. I'd be gone so fast. I'd leave my wife. I'd be like, hey, you deal with this shit. I'm out of here. I probably made pretty good money as a spy. Um, have a good life. I need oh. to find the way home. Hey, look at this. <gasps> There's a map lying there. I bet I can use it to open something. Whoever had set up this camp left behind a, a map. Ooh. According to the map, the house should be nearby. I just have to make it through that. Apparently, place. someone likes to write down that sort of nonsense. What does it say? I don't know what the, when that happened. I woke up and I knew my wife wasn't my wife. Somebody replaced her at night, pretending to be my significant other. I was terrified, but I didn't let it show. I went to our son's room to tell him some mean lady is pretending to be his mommy. He was still asleep, so I woke him up by shaking him gently by the shoulders. He opened his eyes, surprised, and then it hit me. It wasn't my son. I didn't know that child. It certainly wasn't mine. Petrified with terror, I ran into the hallway. I rested my hands on my knees, trying to overcome dizziness. When I stood back up, I saw a man in front of me. Who the hell are you? He yelled. What are you doing in my house? I didn't answer. I was too stunned. I had never seen such nerve. When I tried to grab him by the throat, my hand only hit the hard surface of a mirror. The menacing intruder instantly fell into pieces, screaming with a voice that sounded just like mine. I thought it was a situation where I like was like streaking in somebody's house or something. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Find a way home. Um, map. Okay, so where are we? Oh, God. Uh, campsite. We probably have to go out that way. Jesus, I don't know. I don't know how to read maps. What is this, Boy Scouts? I'm going to go this way. This looks correct. Oh god, it's another Saul gear puzzle. <laughs> get into the cave, okay. Thought they wanted me to get home, but nevertheless, I will get into the cave. Oh, I found Stonehenge. Jesus fucking Christ. They death to traitors. Some psycho thought these people were traitors, but why? Oh! Some McCarthyite commie witch hunt. Was that really what it was about? These are terrible character kind of models. Aimed at me. Holy cow, these are awful. These are so bad. I guess they didn't think anybody was going to, like, really look at them, but... Oh, hang in there, buddy. All right. I better hurry. Emma's on her own back there. Yeah, Emma's probably... She's probably dead by now. All right, I think I found the cave, guys. Chewbacca let himself go. He really couldn't handle the death of Han Solo so much that he became a serial killer. Damn place again. Ooh. I'd watch that movie. Whoa! Christ, is this... What was that? What is going on? What if I killed all these people? I bet you that's going to be the twist. I bet you I killed all these people. Me, but how? Coffee. They must have slipped something into my coffee. Or maybe all those transmitters are some kind of emitters to mess with my mind. I bet I'm the serial killer. That's probably why the, why the game's called The Beast Inside. It's probably like inside my mind. 
That's my prediction. It could be totally off, but that's where I'm going with this. Oh no, it's the Dark Souls bridge. Uh, we're two characters. One character in the 1800s, one in 1970s. Uh, exploring this really crazy area. We j in the present time, I've Fuck, that was close. I've bought a house, and we're we're reading a journal and like reliving this other character's life as well. When we do flashbacks to the uh, 1800s. And a lot of crazy things happened. Damn, they're good. Gotta give them that. They're trying to, they're trying to break me, but I know they're so good tricks. I won't let them know I saw them, though. I'll play their game, but on my rules. Could go that way, or I could go this way. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. It's a pretty good game, though. Uh, the story is really captivating. The soundtrack's really good. Uh, the scary parts are really scary. It's a lot. It, it's it's basically your normal walking sim, really. But I mean, that's not a bad thing. I like some walking sims. Um, but this is pretty good so far. We'll see. It. We'll see how the ending is, but. All right, I gotta s decipher another code. I wonder if that's a clue. USB? Maybe I have to have a USB stick to do this. Honestly, wish I could find more good horror games on Xbox. You just left waiting for the next Outlast. Uh, Evil, yeah, e Evil Within One and Two were really good. Most people liked one more. I actually preferred two, but I generally do end up being the weird oddball out. I usually like the things that people don't, and vice versa. That's the basis of all controls, suckers. You think you can break me like that? With an animal carcass? With a few dead bodies? Seriously? Who do you think I am? Yeah. Who in the hell do you think I am? Wait a minute. Oh, I guess we're not opening that safe. Okay. Maybe that comes later. Okay, we're clearly not going that way. Alright, there's no way they're going to let me jump down here. Yeah, like, I knew that was going to lead to me. That is one criticism I have. Sometimes they let you jump from, you know, a higher distance. And then sometimes it seems from that same distance it kills you. It's just kind of like whenever they decided, hey, we don't want you going this way, then they kill you. Um, otherwise, you're totally fine. You didn't break your legs. You're cool. Let's see. Where are we going? I'm guessing this way. It's got to be like a bridge or a panel that we can go down. Clearly not this way. Oh, hey, there's a rope. Maybe I maybe I should go down the rope instead of just like trying to break my legs. I've been working on the railroad. All right, what happened to my wife? Oh, oh, there's a there's a commie. I'll follow you to the end of the world, but if I tell anyone, they'll think I'm crazy, and that's what commies want. That that that, that that's how they break their enemies, the dirty bastards. They think they can send a fake cop here and I fall for that like a rookie? No, ain't gonna be that easy. With nah, you. not gonna be that easy. Oh hey, I'm gonna pick into this cop's car. Hold up. Where are you at, you commie bastard? What are you doing to my wife, you commie bastard? 
I'm not going crazy. You're going crazy. Oh, you're not downstairs? Are you upstairs with my wife, you commie bastard? Are you diddling her fiddle? Are you strumming her banjo? Where are you at, boy? Hello? Where are you at? Is it bad that I'll just automatically assume that my wife was in bed with a cop? That's like the first thing I assumed. I was like, yep, she's definitely in bed with a cop. Best perks of working later than everyone else. You can raid the kitchen for copious amounts of snacks. Hell yeah. What? How did I die? I entered the attic. What? I opened the attic door. What the hell? What just happened? Well, you know I'm going back into that attic, right? I think literally the door swung swung down. Nah, I don't buy it. I mean, that's just coincidence. It, it That doesn't have any meaning. Them. They'll follow you to the end of the world, but if I tell anyone... But in all honesty... Crazy. It does it really change all that much. Like, if you think about it, if we lose a close game to Bama, we fall to like five or six, right? Oh, Penn State will get out. If we win out, we'll still be in the top four. Like, I, you know, it doesn't bit. really that, change that, anything for us. Dirty bastards! They think they can send a fake cop here and like fall for that like a rookie? Maybe, no, Mono. Be that easy with me. Maybe. All right. I'm scared now to go into the attic. Oh, of course it doesn't kill me this time. Well, I'd rather win too, but I'm just telling you, if we lose and we're, like, if, if they're trying to debate who is the strongest one-loss team, it's easily LSU. Like, not even remotely close. And they would not put Oregon ahead of us. They wouldn't put, you know, none of those other teams, so... Like, it really doesn't change. Obviously, I want to win, but I'm just saying, you got to have plan Bs, too. Oh, I think I got to go in this way. Honey, what's going on? Why is there a... Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? You know, I, I wanted to find a... Why, why are you crying? What's... Six hours? What? What? You were gone for six hours. You went and just vanished. Sorry. I didn't vanish. I just tried to remove those damn bugs. What? What? What bugs? Yeah. What, what bugs? What are you talking about? You left me all alone, and some psycho slashed our tires. Are you serious? I called the sheriff, but when we were in front of the house, that guy broke in, into your office. What? What do you mean broke in? Are you kidding me? Oh Look, no. That son of a bitch took the telegrams. The sheriff noticed the broken window as soon as we went back home and... Wait, wait a minute. Who gave you the right to let strangers in, to go through my stuff? He's a sheriff, not a stranger. Besides... Sheriff, my ass. You have no idea how capable the people who want to get me are. They can impersonate anyone. Don't you realize that what I do affects millions of people? You think I'm stupid? I called for help because someone's stalking us. Besides, the guy couldn't have gone far, and the sheriff is after him. You don't have to act like such a dick. It was me that was in danger. Me, <coughs> not your nameless millions. One of their names is Cheryl. How you like that? Fuck. What a mess. Hopefully he's left some traces. I better look around. Stash and good. Yeah, really. He just leaves them right out in the open. No problem. Oh, we've got an anomaly. Babe, I think I'm on to something. And it's right in front of us. I need to search the office thoroughly. Maybe the device will find some traces. Bingo. He escaped through the window and probably moved towards the bridge.
Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, but I mean, still, like, we would easily have the strongest loss there, like, between the two. Like, they're not going to put Penn State, uh, a one-loss Penn State over a one-loss LSU. That, that's just not happening. Uh, what if those are actually your alternate, alternate self-fart clouds? Because Penn State sure as hell doesn't have three good victories like we do. Uh, what if those are actually your alternate self-fart clouds, if that's what's actually going on? I think you're right about that, though. I don't know. But I don't know what I got to do. Maybe I, I go... I like I've missed something. Oh. I apparently, clues first. apparently there's more clues. I don't see any more clues. Can't open the window. You guys see any more clues? I think I'm stuck in here, guys. What was he looking at? Warning message. A note depicting a sparrow. I reckon that someone must have left it in plain view for me to find, but why? Watch out for sparrows. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever happens, don't leave the house and don't let anyone in until I come back. <coughs> You're leaving me again? Are you crazy? The sheriff is on it. Let it go. The sheriff doesn't know what he's dealing with. If he really is who he says he is in the first place, he won't help anything. Don't be paranoid. The police are on our side. No one's on our side, Emma. No one. It's in Big Hero 6? Really? I've never seen that movie. No point hanging around. I think I'm supposed to watch that movie before I eventually vomit and play Kingdom Hearts, though. Find another signal outside. Follow the localizer. Okay, I got this. I can't see anything with my naked eye, but maybe the localizer will help. The sheriff probably went for the bridge. That's where I should start looking. Here's the bridge. At least I know which way he went. The sheriff must be nearby. I'll check the area around the bridge. Think you don't have to watch it until three? Oh, okay. Well, at least I can skip it for a while. I think I'm on the right track. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? White Llama! Dun -dun 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 the signal is stronger. I'm getting close. Oh, I'm getting so close. The way that the wife said, leaving me again? Yeah, I think they have a history. A side passage. If you were a side passage, where would you be? You think my guy's dead, like, now? Or, like, he's going to die? 
<coughs> Has any- Oh, the sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff's definitely dead. Has anyone seen Krampus? I have not. I have not. I need to start David, coming up with a I'm day a week to go to the movies house. again. Movers. Who else knows our location? Someone from the office. Did, did Emma blurt it out to some friends? I don't think so. And I was cautious. I didn't leave any trail. Fuck, why can't I crack it? I'll tell you what was good. I went to go see um, Motherless Brooklyn the other day. And I, I had never heard of the movie, but I watched the trailer right before I went in. And, and it intrigued me. I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, didn't get a lot of fanfare from what I saw. Like, I had never heard of it. It was a good little detective movie. I liked it. Set in the 60s. Or thereabouts. It was enjoyable. Joker was really good, yeah. I went with Kubi to go uh, watch Joker and... We were both very much blown away by that movie. God damn it's an electric fence. I need to find a way to switch it off. Electric fence. What is it doing? It also there? pushed Heath Ledger to about the fourth best Joker of all time. Uh, do the people at your local theater recognize you when you go? Uh, there's this one girl that recognizes me up in there. I, I still want to go see Zo Yeah, I still need to see that. So I, I was going to the movie to watch Zombieland 2. And then I ended up going to see Motherless Brooklyn. First, I need to cut off power. And yeah, that's right. I said Heath Ledger was the fourth best Joker. Don't at me. Oh, I got to cut off power? Where do I do that at? Oh. Where could these wires lead? Dude, I really do play like it. I I really do feel like this is in for oh, all no. over again. There's more. <laughs> like this is the the water station, and then there's gonna be like I don't know. Who are my top three joker jokers? Jack Nicholson, number one B. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, 1A, uh, Mark Hamill, 3, and Heath Ledger, 4. Jack Nicholson will always be my favorite Joker. I don't care what anybody does. Like, you can't beat Jack Nicholson. Just can't. Yeah, this is this is in for a man. I'm not complaining. Um, wait, how do I? Oh, I gotta get way the hell up there. Okay. You notice Leto is on on that list. Leto never what never played Joker. It's all a figment of your imagination. Speaking of, we totally are going to do the Arkham series soon. I usually do, to be fair, I usually do separate it by, like, movie Joker. So normally I don't ever really include Mark Hamill in the list because I'm talking, like, live-action movies. That's generally how I do it. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, here we go. Second one done. I think there's just one left. Dude, I like... I, I just... Heath Ledger was good, but there is a real part of me that has always felt like he's, he was a bit overrated. And I don't mean any disrespect by that, because, again, he was really, really good. And I totally get it when people put him at the top of their list. But, call me a dick, but I feel like, I feel like a lot of people put him number one because of what happened after the movie.
Uh, let's see. Where do we gotta go? <clears throat> I feel like the his story grew with his death, right? So that's why I think people kind of overrate it sometimes. Not saying it was a bad performance, but I don't think that it was as earth-shattering as people make it out to be. Oh, I gotta throw this, okay. Ugh! Get out of the way, box. I love that they just include a box just to be a dick. That was the last one. I won't be electrocuted now. Now I'll say this: if honestly, in my book, like if he w if he were able to do the the third movie in that series, um, playing that same role, which was originally the intent, then he might have passed Nicholson in my mind. But. Nicholson's my favorite. And Jack Nicholson, probably probably two of my favorite movies in, involve Jack Nicholson. Like the that Batman, and then my probably my favorite movie of all time is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. I prefer the more jokey Joker, like from the animated series. I, I, I can agree with that. I thought Ledger did a great performance, loved the movie, and I realize what I'm saying is more writing than acting style. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, and that... that that's part of why I really liked uh, Jack Nicholson. It's your favorite Batman, Kevin Conroy. My favorite... Eeh. I probably like... Uh... I don't know, man. Like... I... I... It's hard for me because, like I said, I always take out the uh, the the animated version when I'm doing that. I think Michael Keaton's my favorite Batman, though. Funny enough, so my least favorite Batman, or one of my least favorite Batmans, is actually Christian Bale. But one of my favorite Bruce Wayne's is Christian Bale. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of George Clooney. I, I thought George Clooney was... I, I, I feel just like Christian Bale. I, I, I felt like he was a pretty good Bruce Wayne. Not so much as a Batman. I like that we're talking Batman, though, because we totally are segueing into... Hey, soon we're going to be doing the, uh, the Arkham series for my very first time. Firewatch. I played that game once. Uh, here we go. He was in this building, but the door is locked now. I'll follow him. <coughs> Wait, couldn't I just like jump over the fence? I'm guessing I'm continuing to follow these. Oh, there's a there's a Far Cry tower over here. Signal is coming from the tower. Yeah, there's not even barbed wire at the top of that tower. Uh, oh, at the top of the gate. I will say that I didn't hate Batman and Robin. I mean, it's certainly one of my least favorites, but 
I didn't. I, I remember not hating the movie. Guys, is this the watchtower from Firewatch? Wait, are these the woods from Firewatch? It looks very familiar. <laughs> it looks very, very familiar. What if these universes are tied together somehow? Time to play Galaga. Fire in the hole. This is the this is really the stupidest part of the game. I wish this wasn't a thing. Son of a bitch. This guy just keeps moving around. Got him. All right. Where are we going? Back in the house. I was right. He's not here. I should look around. It looks like he was hiding something in here. Did you have to scan all that stuff to know that he wasn't in here? Because, like, I could have used my eyes. I mean... I love. I actually loved Jim Carrey as the Riddler, and I loved the Two Face in that. Um, in yeah, in the Val Kilmer, I that I loved those two characters. I really did. I thought they did a good job. I thought the I thought in the uh, George Clooney uh, version, the the Poison Ivy love triangle that was kind of cringy. What are we doing with this? Oh. Wait, there were keys back here. Give me the keys. I hope it will open the door to that cabin, Delvin. Key to the house. I bet it will. See what he's hiding there. Then again, like you kind of have to look at, at it through the eyes of a kid because let's face it, Batman movies are made for kids, right? Not, not like kid kids i get it like some of them were a little bit darker but like looking at it as a 30 plus year old adult i'm gonna have a different viewpoint than the target audience right sometimes i feel like looking back at things you can be a little bit unfair just because as a kid you're like holy shit this is amazing and then you go back and watch something and then you're just like Mm, it really wasn't that great. So. And you just kind of have to remember, well, it wasn't made for me. You know, as I am now. I must find out how to open that goddamn basement. <laughs> Why such animosity okay, towards so the I'll basement? I'll in and get the guy Hal until he tells me everything. I just hope his English is better than my Russian. All right, we're in. Motherfuckers, they know everything about us. <coughs> everything. Fuck, they've been watching our every move. Even here, where we were supposed to be off their radar. A question mark. That's probably the best B question way. mark. Where can I get the password? The door is locked. Enter the password. Uh, what? B1? Oh, hang on.
Yeah, I don't know what that what's going on there. Uh, oh boy, I got to solve that puzzle, guys. I think the Dark Knight series. Oh, it, in terms of series of movies, yeah, I would kind of agree with that. Um, but I I I do just I I just have a preference for the the like those original Michael Keaton ones. Um, but as far as full series, yeah, I I, I liked the Dark Knight series. Uh, observation note on Adam and Emma. Fuck, he knows every detail just as if he slept in our bed. Well, maybe he did. Adam woke up at 5.21 a.m. even though he couldn't get to sleep until late at night. Emma got up at 8.40. Then she had, then they had breakfast together. When she asked him if he slept well in the new house, he lied and said that he did. Actually, he sleeps five to six hours a day, sometimes less. It's not the only thing he's not honest with his wife about. Emma doesn't tell her husband everything either. Both claim they trust each other completely, but that's not the case. These days, you can trust no one, not even yourself. Wow, they even added their own journalistic opinion on it. They, like, wrote an editorial about us. He was already lying await here on the day of our arrival. Uh, all three. Does this motherfucker know about our unborn child? All three have safely arrived. Ooh. Alright, I think we have a puzzle that we gotta solve. What is that son of a bitch up to? Thermochromic pigment. It has something to do with temperature. Oh, I thought he just had some Vaseline over there. He's marked the places with the relays on the map. Seems I've gotten rid of them all. So we have been bugged all along. Fuck me. Found something under the plank when he took boxes to the attic. What he found is more important than he might think. Sometimes looks like she's afraid of something. She was the one. Wait, what is the spell? Hang on. D A A D A Adam. I'm trying to put together all the uh, the capital letters. Hold up. A D A M Adam. He. Till do he till do not know about me Adam Adam Hest well does not know about me oh okay that son of a bitch was sure he had cracked us, Emma and me. That's what the Soviets tried to do, arouse suspicion among friends and relatives. You can trust no one, right? Well, we certainly cannot trust these fucking commies. He's still confused. He doesn't know what my actions mean. He doesn't understand why I'm doing all this. He thinks I've got bad intentions. She thought something happened to him, called for help. In critical moments, it's easier to expose someone's true intentions. I can see and hear everything. No detail can escape my notice. The Cold War isn't just about nations. It concerns individuals, too. The Iron Curtain still stands between us, but soon it will be raised. Oh, so these actually are commie bastards. Okay, so how am I supposed to solve this puzzle? Um... A1? Maybe like L? B? 2? H? C three P D D Nope. Okay. Password just keeps resetting. So what am I looking at? I can't find any clues I'll never guess the password okay maybe okay so I think we have to find clues we, we're, we're not there yet find the code and type it on the computer so we definitely have to do this you have to find out what numbers are paired with what letters nothing in here 
Need to find the slide. Oh, I bet you I gotta find the slide in order to. Okay. I bet you the slide will have the numbers on them. Also, I'm going to need to find a canvas. Found a canvas. Will you be playing or Yeah, I'll play them all. Plus 3 minus 1. What? What's that supposed to mean? Gut tells me someone has written something here, but I can't make it out. Intuition tells me that he tried to convey something, but I'm unable to read the words. How can I decipher them? A book on encrypting. So oh. Certain pages. Okay. I don't... What? Message. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta somehow get the message onto the page. Inks developed by heat. Inks developed by chemical reaction. Maybe I should check what this button does. What button? What button are you talking about? Uh, oh. Oh. Inks visible in ultraviolet light. That might be what we need. Okay. <clears throat> okay, maybe not. Should start with Origins first. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play it in uh, release order. That's how I always play every series. What am I supposed to do here? I need to find the slides. But like we have ultraviolet rays. Lost. I wouldn't be so sure. Did he mention the copies? Should have thought about that before. He already knows more than we wanted him to. The handler is concerned. We've got a serious conversation ahead of us. Who's behind all this? Since when have they been doing it? If they had me exposed, why didn't they steal the telegrams before? You put gameplay over story in Asylum is a stark difference from the rest of the series. It's harder to go back to after playing a later game. Fair enough as well. I, I always go with uh, release order anyway. Um... Just by rule, I prefer to play games in the order that they come out, just because that was the intended original order, right? So, like, I understand timeline and shit, but then, like, you have, like, callbacks and different things, or flash forward, you know, different, different things where you're like, aha, I remember that moment. And then, you know, you miss that if you play the games out of order. Okay. Some of these puzzles are downright difficult. I 
colorless substance used for writing. Inks developed by chemical reaction. Inks visible in ultraviolet light. I mean, there's the ultraviolet light, but how do I... See, I, I can see something forming on there, but can't tell quite what. So maybe ultraviolet light isn't the answer with this? I don't know. If anybody's got any ideas, feel free to chime in. Uh you gotta go. Alright, Swagger, take it easy, buddy. I'll see you, uh I'll see you next time. <clears throat> Got the ultraviolet light. I mean, I I feel like the only thing that it can be is however I'm supposed to get this text to show up on here. UV message should be showing. Because there's no chemical reactions. There's no heat that I can put it on. This is going to be like something super obvious too. I can already tell. If I want to see the image. I need to insert it into a projector. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's insert this into the projector. Why isn't it playing? Oh. oh, I got to do math, I think. B minus four? Is that what I was trying to say? Yeah, because I can't move this anymore. They, they're they not letting me move this at all. Not anymore. Target B4. Target B4. Oh, B is 4. Wait, what? Hang on. B four. What? I mean, that's clearly what they're trying to tell me. B four. Target B four. That has to have something to do with this, right? Uh, B four is J. Oh my god, my head hurts so much doing this. Um, B, A. There has to be more that I. There has to be more to this puzzle. So B4. Throw Mona Lisa. Yeah, I'm. I'm stumped. Oh, oh, hold up. It works. I'm starting to make out the letters. B4C1. 
E4, C1. What are they trying to tell me? B4, C1. B4, C1. So B is 4. B4, C1. Could be like Okay. Um so let's say L Q H C No all right, so let's try A3, B4, C1. D2. Boom. Finally. Now I can go in the basement and deal with that fucker. Uh no, I haven't. Check out who solved a puzzle, guys. I solved a puzzle. No, I've never heard of the Solace Project. <coughs> so much blood. What's happened here? Oh. Whoa. Is that the sheriff? Fuck me. I don't get it. I think that's the sheriff. And why? Luckily, you didn't destroy them. I do still need to play, um... What was that space horror game? Um, I need to play Dead Space 2 and 3 still. I finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. Oh, time to go back to the past. I finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. I'm sure it wasn't human. I lost it on the way. At least I think I did. I need to forget about it. Can't waste time in delusions. That's what they told me, after all. Father, detective, the mine. Hopefully I can find something here. All right. Back to the creep. Back to the creep zone. Here we go. So we're now in the 1880s once more. Uh, if, you, if you missed any of this, uh, basically we play the perspective of two different people. Um, all in the same general area. So we're seeing both perspectives of, like, how creepy this area is. There's a dead body. My father's mind has become a graveyard for so many, it's terrible. If I don't want to end up like them, I must follow... I must remember hints from Gilman's notes and follow the green lights. Otherwise, I'll never get out of here. He lied to me. That old bastard lied through his teeth. He sold me that map saying it would lead me to gold that was supposed to be in this mine. When I asked him why he doesn't go down there and take it himself, he said it was too old. He couldn't see as well as he used to, and he couldn't manage himself. Uh, so yeah, he basically lied to him. He found the notes of a certain Gilman describing the way out. Um, and he says, lights are the key, the green lights I saw in some of the tunnels. Roman numerals, what could it mean? Uh, three miners lost their lives in the explode. Oh, I think all I need is this. Uh, so 613. The accident claimed the lives of four people. Why would my father kill them if they were his friends? And on top of that, the explosion led him to financial ruin. Doesn't make any sense. My father was no fool. He wouldn't hurt his own interests. Uh, you're trying to survive on an alien world after your ship crashes and search for survivors, but it's a sci-fi horror game. You also have to eat and not freeze to death. Sounds interesting. There we go. So we're here. I need to go to the left, I guess.
Oh, this is going to be impossible. Hide secret. What could that woman mean? Dear sir, I saw your ad about looking for the missing John Norton. I may be a simple peasant, but I swear to God Almighty, I know who's responsible for his vanishing and for the crime in the mine where my husband died. I went to the sheriff and told him all about it, but he only scoffed at me and said I was seeing things from all that grieving. I will tell you everything, but only face to face and in my house, because that's the only place I can feel safe. When you learn the hide secret, nothing will ever be the same. They were hiding it well, but I saw it. I saw what crept out at night from... And then whatever she had to say after that. I feel like I have to follow the, uh, the map. That's going to be kind of difficult. So we got to go basically the route 6130. Oh, okay, so we can just go this way. 613. I wonder if that means... Like, do I need to go in order 613, or can I go through 3? Anything that says 6, 1, or 3. That's my guess, is that I'm able to do that. Six one three. It was six, right? Hang on. Yeah, six one three. All right, there's the three. Oh, that. Okay, so I think you do have to go in order. Okay, so that's six. All right, so let's go through here. Green light. <coughs> yep. The one that the dead man had written about. He was right. I'm on the right track. So we're now here. If I keep going down, we'll find the one. It's three. Okay, so we're now here. up here now I'm trying to find the number one okay so four is right there five is right there so if we go straight down here that's six so if I go this way I'll get to the one. Oh, but that just brings me right back out to where I was right I mean I remember this door and we broke off some yeah we definitely came out that way so maybe I do six one. Th oh God, this is so confusing. So that's six. I'm running in circles. Damn it! I need a clue. Maybe someone's written one down somewhere. Yeah, that's a good thought. Except I think I already picked up the thing that was written down somewhere. I mean, maybe it is as simple as, okay, I went through six. 
But see, if I go through one, that's not going to be the right answer because I already came through there. So maybe I need to go through three, which is right here. But I feel like I've done that already. I don't think that's going to do anything. Yeah. There's another three. Or is that the same three? I think it may be the same three. Yeah, it's definitely the same three. I'm re uh, so I got the six and and it says follow the green lights. So I do that. I'm going to go in two just because I'm a rebel. And I'm curious what happens if you go in two. Nothing happens. Okay. Um. Let's see, I go here. But this will probably dead end, right? No, it doesn't. There. The light is green again. Interesting. I can get out of this damn mine. Okay. So I'm thinking now if I go in the one that it says three, we might actually have beaten this. So I think if I go in here, we're gonna win. Something just loaded up. Yep, there you go. Someone's here. Oh boy. Doesn't look very friendly. Turn off the flashlight. Take care to not be heard or seen by the ghost. You'll move quieter and crouching and the spirit sees you run and hide. Okay. Uh, bite. So when we get to 10, turn around and go in the middle. Okay. 10. I think it's actually right over here. Conveniently, where the ghost guy went. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, I gotta go in there. Oh! Yep! Bye-bye! I don't think he knows where I am. <coughs> I hope he doesn't anyway. Okay, I think we're good. It's going to be a problem. Because I got to get in exactly where he's at. Is there like another way in? There is another way in. See, I got to get past I got to get past him regardless though. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy.
So I think I'm going to have to go in from the other side because it doesn't seem like there's any way for me to actually go in that section. So I actually don't know that we're going to beat this game tomorrow either. I thought that we would finish it um, either today or, or tomorrow. Well, not definitely not today, but I thought tomorrow we would beat it. I'm not really sure that's the case anymore. I think it might take a little bit longer. So we might bleed into Thursday's stream as well. Uh-oh. Turn around. Pretty confident this is the right way to go. All right, nine, nine, seven, eight. Nine, seven, eight. My father killed his partner in order to get his shares. But the explosion was accidental. After all, the mine brought in more income than in. Nine, seven, eight. Uh, that's 11. Only circumstantial. Nine, seven, eight. Where are you at? That's seven. Where's nine at? Uh, eight? Okay, so we gotta go around and up. Okay. At least I know how this mechanic kind of works now. That you do have to do this kind of in order. So that's eight. So nine should be... Oh, there we go. Hang on. There it is. Okay. Tricky, tricky. Nine, seven, eight, was it? I'll have to relook at the note. <coughs> uh, nine, seven, eight. Okay. So seven is down at the bottom. That's eight. For seven up. Seven should be like right over here, huh? I kind of don't like this puzzle all that much. There's eight. So if that's eight, eight is way the hell up there. So if I find 12, I'll find seven pretty, pretty easily. There's 11. There's 10. There's 8. Where in the hell is seven at? It's gotta be this way, right? 12, seven, boom. Okay, and now I gotta find eight. So we're here, if I just, if I need to go up and over. Ten is that way. Yeah, I definitely want to go by ten. Just keep going straight. There's eight. That should do it. Oh. 
Oh. Even death fails to grant an escape for some. All right, so we're down here at the bottom. We got to make it all the way up to the top. I hate this whole section, by the way. Where are we? All right, so I need to go past 16 and it'll be on that side. Wait, what is that? Oh, I see. That's 17. So 16 is gonna be passed it over on that side. That guy's like right over there too. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> this is such a frustrating section. All right, I'm going to give it another try. I, I just want to get past this mine at least uh, tonight, and then we'll continue from there afterwards. Um, if I could get to Chapter 9, though, that would leave us with 13 chapters. Even death fails to grant an escape for some. Um, okay. So I do need to go this way. Oh, it's not in there anymore. Yep. Oh my god, there's two of them. I didn't realize there were two of them in this stage. That could be a problem. Getting through one of them was hard enough. Oh my god, I'm like opposite of where I need to be too. I could go that way, or I could go left and go left and to the right up here. Let me see if this is an easier way to do it. 14. Okay, so we're definitely on the right track. I need to go up and to the right here. Nope. Dude, how am I going to get past this guy? I legitimately have no idea how I'm going to get past this guy. Because I've got to get... i got to get right in there. where Exactly where that guy is. That's where I've got to be. Okay. I'm just going to book it. All right, uh, 17, 13, 14. 17, 13, 14. The detective was eager to make it big. <laughs> At least I got the paper. I think we get the save spot there. I think that's the checkpoint. So now I'll be able to start from right there, I hope. Cross my fingers, hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. Sounds painful. Yeah, we start right here. All right, so we're right here. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. I think I pissed him off. My father was very upset when he learned that his associate was among the casualties. Some even suggested that he had wanted to get rid of the man, and now he finally got his way. So, 17, 13, 14. Later, bro! 17, 13, 14. 17's way... Oh, God. He's, he's right on me. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think that he was still following me. That was my bad. 17, 13, 14. 17, 13, 14. That's what the order that I gotta find. 17, 13, 14. Where is 17? I didn't even see that on the map. But I do believe this is the last one that I gotta do. Let's see. 17. 
13, 14. 17 is over by 16. Okay. God, I hate this section. Okay. 17, 13, 14. I just want to get, I don't want to have to do this tomorrow. Uh, so I just want to get past it today. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. That's eighteen. So we're right here. So I need to turn around. Go up this way, I believe. That's 13. So no, we need to go the opposite way. We need to go back over. Oh God. Oh God. Wait a minute. Where are we? So I need to go straight. Straight and then to the left. I think. X5. Yeah, this is 17. Okay. Seventeen. Then I need to go. I just need to find 13. Okay. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. So now we're here. If I keep going straight and then to the right, straight and to the right. So 13 is right over here. Oh God, there's a guy right there. Go away, dude. 17, 13. Come on, give me a save, uh, give me a checkpoint at least. 17, 13, and then I gotta, ah, shit. I don't have a checkpoint. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. I gotta find. Oh, I'm right next to fourteen. Holy cow! Which which side is fourteen at? Should be like. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow, that was convenient. And I got a checkpoint. Is there going to be a mine cart that I can go on? Such a small skeleton. It must have been a woman. Or a really short man. Uh, looks like ruthless execution. The arrow went through the spine. Ugh. She wasn't one of the accident victims. Someone must have murdered her later and hid the body there. Oh, man. Madeline. Oh, we got a puzzle on our hands.
I don't think this is a hard one, though. Really? I think all we gotta do is push this bad boy. This is Infra, like, all over again. It's amazing. Because Infra had puzzles like these as well. Wait, why is it going over that way? As it's currently constructed. Okay, so I think I need to move. That way? Why is it continuously moving this way? No matter which direction I have this in. So now I've got it over this way. So in theory, that should change things, right? Yes. Okay. I guess I didn't do it all the way before. Kablooey! Get me out of this mine. And paralyzed. <coughs> oh my god, is that Han Solo? I think that might be Han Solo, guys. It's Gilman. Is he? God. I think he's still alive. I had no heart, bastard! How is he still walking after all this? Defeat, currently saving, defeat Gilman? How am I supposed you to do to that? Run. If he so much as touches me, I'll freeze to death. Oh my god, he's the Ice King. Bum, bum. This music is so badass. Oh. oh! Oh my god, parkour in this game? Okay. It actually wasn't that bad. These are the best sections of the game. I love this these chase sequences. No, what? Oh! I don't think that's how that was supposed to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure I glitched out the game. That's fantastic. <laughs> pretty sure I glitched the game. That is a loadable. I would legit play a full game where you got to just run away from these things like the entire game. He's back! Uh, crouch behind the metal sheets to take. Yeah, kind of figured that. Those blasts could freeze me to death.
I mean, I, I kind of wish they hadn't told me that because, like, I I knew that I had to hide behind those things. I was, I'm not an idiot. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I'm a little bit of an idiot. But you know what? Even idiots can figure things out on their own. Um, just slower than the average folk. That's that's it. <laughs> Now that's a bunch of bull. I totally ducked behind that thing. Yay, yay, yay. Again, guys, we will be live tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm definitely streaming uh, through Thursday um, at the same time each... Now, I deserve that death. Uh, same time each day, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I haven't decided yet about Friday, but I will be streaming uh, for sure Sunday evening as a bonus stream. Uh, normally, we stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, and then I try to throw in a weekend stream here and there. Uh, if you're new to the stream and you're enjoying yourself, uh, please consider hitting that follow button. We'd love to have you back as part of our community here on Twitch. And if you're wondering to yourself, self, where can I find this glorious bastard on the Twitterverse? Uh, well, it's White Llama Show, but you can find all my links and stuff down below in the profile. Is his weakness. If I can hit him there, all be over. Oh. Get him. Hit him in the brain. Dude, I think that's my dad. Because he keeps I saving me. I really do think that's the ghost of my dad. You got to get up, llama. You finish what you started. Damn. Fatality. Yeah, you might want to get out of the mine, dude. That was cool. I liked that whole segment. Except for the one puzzle area. Chapter 9. My search for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I was lost in the woods for six hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole the telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up facing the terrible truth. We've been watched for a long time. The Soviets, they know everything. Every detail. This whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He, too, was stalked by someone with his every step. Where? Where am I? Oh! Fuck! Who could have? This Dude, is I'm in a well. I'm in some fucking well. How do I get out? Handcuffed to a headless man. All right. Well, when life deals you lemons, you cut off a dead guy's hand. That that's what I was always taught as a kid. Fuck, I think I'm going to puke. Wait, is he using the wrong side of the knife? I guess not. Never mind. I thought he was using the wrong side of the knife. That would have been bad. All right, I guess I got to toss this up. Well, that was a terrible throw. Can 
Can I catch it? No. Oh no, you better hurry. That was close. Dude, this game is really cool. <clears throat> I don't think it has a lot of replay value, but um, for a one-time playthrough, it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. Let's get back to Emma as soon as possible. All right. So anyways, uh, we are outside of the house. We just got out of the well. That is actually going to have to do it for us tonight. I'm hoping to go a little bit longer tomorrow, um, probably about four hours or so tomorrow. But I do have to call it today. So, uh, again, I thank each and every one of you for coming here today. Uh, we are back to streaming normal again, which is really exciting. Um, hope to deliver you guys some good, entertaining streams. That's After all, that's why I'm here, uh, to try to entertain you guys, give you a good show, and uh, have lots of laughs and a good time. So, anyways, I will be back tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You are all invited here, as always. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun this week. Uh, streaming definitely tomorrow, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, very possible I'll throw in a Friday cast as well. And maybe even Saturday. I don't know. It just really depends on what I'm doing. Um, I'd like to stream as much as possible, especially over the next couple of months uh, before I might be getting promoted and might have to take a little bit of a hiatus until I get set up in a new place. Um, we'll see about that. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as much as possible. But we've got a little bit of time. And uh, I'm going to stream as much as I possibly can during that time. And then, obviously, I'll come back once we, uh, once I get moved and everything. So, anyways, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I will see you next time. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.